Hello guys, my name is Michael and uh, I wasn't supposed to create another tutorial about uh, signals and events because I, um, I was sure that I covered almost everything you need to know uh, but somehow uh, I think there is uh, something which we need to talk some new um, information which you really needed to know and after this I'm sure that we are covering almost everything uh, of uh, what means signals and events so we will gonna we are going to talk a little bit about uh, GTK events uh, uh, GTK widget set events and GTK widget add events which we were already talking in the last tutorial and of course uh, I want to show you that a new function called G signal connect, uh, connect swap which uh, is uh, a little bit different from this one and uh, you will notice that almost in every cases you will probably need this function instead of this one uh, but we will talk about this later okay um, now I prepared here a, a program I want to show you it's about uh, GTK uh, it's about levels and uh, let me run the program first to show you a little bit so here we have our uh, a window we have here inside the label and this label which I created uh, has a text and the text says hello there we are not gonna talk too much about labels because we didn't cover this part about uh, labels so we it's, it is here just to to uh, do not uh, make uh, later another tutorial about these events so uh, like I said we, we will not talk about labels here uh, we are going to talk about signals and how you can catch them okay and now I go back and uh, like you see here I create a label and then uh, after this uh, I create a new label with uh, the text uh, hello there I put the label inside the window and uh, then uh, I print it uh, uh, together with uh, the window and that's it now uh, let me show you something uh, let's say for example uh, if we wanna catch um, a signal G signal signal connect uh, label scroll event next one uh, will be our scroll back callback we're going to talk a little bit later after I'm done with and uh, the window we are passing I try to compile the program okay this says we have a problem yes of course because uh, I forgot to cast it okay I run the problem again as you can see nothing happens the scroll is not working okay this means we can let's say add events uh, to this um, label GTK event uh, GTK widget add events we are using and uh, first is the our label and the second is a GTK scroll event scroll event G GTK I think so. yes scroll mask we need not event sorry guys okay uh, now we are calling this function to add scroll mask to our label and we are gonna run this program now 
nothing happens okay uh, let's which means there are no uh, there are there is no already mask on this uh, widget okay we'll try to set it so I change the GTK widget add with GTK widget set after this I will call uh, I will uh, compile it and run it again as you can see uh, uh, it's not working so let's see what's wrong here we'll go here let's say GTK level what kind of information we can get about it GTK level there are some signals here says the type of the signals which they are possible with them but uh, we need uh, our label it's not there uh, our scroll event so it's not there we, we try to edit and set those events and they are still not working but I need it I mean I need the scroll event to work on this uh, widget and uh, seems that this widget is not working like I want so for this let's say GTK uh, event let's see what's the story with events we go here to event handling because here you can see almost every information you 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 are not understand or you are not sure why is not working something and so on you go here where it says event handling and I will go down here and just watch this part is very important for you and says there are a few subtle points that have to be observed when calling GTK widget set events first it must be called before the X window for a GTK widget is created okay we did it I mean we we just call this function after we create the label but we didn't print it okay it's fine next move so this part is not for us next part in practical terms uh, practical terms this means you should call it immediately after creating the widget yes like I said uh, I call it just after we create the, the label we called this function it's still not working second this is our part I think a second the widget must have an associated X window for efficiency many widget types do not have their own window but draw in their parents window and there are now uh, the, here's the problem we create a, a label and our label which we created has no window has not default X window so this means we cannot catch events of uh, on uh, uh, widget which has no window we can see here the say uh, here says there are uh, these widgets are GTK alignment arrow bin box image item label you see big mask scroll window separate uh, table and so on you see these are all those um, most of them are not working anymore because this is a uh, I think it's from uh, yeah GTK 2 anyway this is not a problem the problem is that uh, our GTK label has no window so okay uh, what we should do I know already but you, you can read it here it says to capture events for these widgets you need to use an event uh, event box widget see the section okay so we we, we know the GTK guy says uh, what we have to do if we really need to catch those signals this they said we need to create an event box and uh, for this we need to check this section okay section we go here and says some GTK widget don't have a section X window blah, blah, okay uh, you can uh, uh, wait if you want it but we are not gonna do that because it's not our uh, uh, it's not important for us today here as you can see there is uh, already um, uh, an example of uh, how it's working so we will do the same okay GTK widget uh, let's call it event box okay now we are gonna create the event box which is like every widget GTK uh, sorry event 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 box GTK event box new new 
and say it's void so we don't need to pass something after this we are gonna add this event box to this label and the label we are gonna put it uh, the label we're gonna put it inside our event box okay so we did it let's run the program and see what happens hmm still nothing happens why why is not happening why, why why did i make wrong here well let's see we created the event box the, the, the way how it is uh, supposed to be we uh, add it to win our window it's there we create our label we set our events and then we put our label in uh, inside the event box and then uh, we, we will call in the G signal connect label on that label and it's still not working why well because the same story you don't set or add events to your label because it has no window if it, even if you create something like a window for your label this one still has no window so this means i take this part out i move it up here and then i'm i will uh, put the label inside the event box the way how it, uh, we want and now should work fine after i scroll down i see that it's not working of course it's not working this is the same story here why because it's the same story here you cannot catch a signal on your label you need to catch signal a signal of on your event box so i will call event box and now i run the program again and see what happens and it's working trust me because we have here uh, just some errors we will fix it uh, in a moment but you see the scroll down was catch it and so on and uh, the scroll up was catch it and so on okay it's working but we have uh, some problems uh, and i know why because uh, we are going to talk about a new function it's called g signal connect swap i will explain you uh, later and then here so I changed the G signal connect with this function and then I put label this time here. Label. I run the program again. The program again. And as you can see, the program works fine. Okay, so uh, if you are asking yourself if we need this function to make it work, no, you don't need it it's only there because i want to show you something it works fine with uh, gcna connect but why i'm using this i will show you anyway uh, i go down to to explain a little bit about this function now because as you can see here when i use my scroll it's changed not just the text but only also the color of the text which is very important okay if we go down here the the thing which is different from the um, the um Wait a second, I want to see something. I want to see something because uh, GTK event. And I think here is a scroll event or something like this. Uh, scroll, focus, grab. Yeah, event scroll. What this means? This means uh, we are gonna access this time, uh, this event, and you should always for a better reading uh, use uh, directly here as parameter the child of the event um, structure uh, to to be more clear and not to not type this kind of long uh, things here and now because you you uh, use a, a child parameter parameter when you access the events you you can uh, have uh, directly access to um to direction direction or uh, i hope it works if not uh i'm not i have no time to type scroll back conflict types okay uh, we are gonna change it to event we go back and see what happens and if it's working uh, and uh, okay we forgot to change the other one i will copy it here you see the program is short now i will run it and it works fine and of course it works fine now watch the thing which is different 
uh, from the last tutorial about our scroll back uh, scroll uh, callback function is that uh, after we print the scroll down with catch it uh, we are setting new color to our um, and font and so on to our uh, text which is inside the of label and uh, this happens with the help of GTK label set markup. Uh, we are not going to talk about this now, but I wanted to show you how it's changed the color. And uh, I'm not using CSS here. I'm I'm just uh, using pure C uh, GTK. Okay, and uh, here same story too. Okay, so as you can see, all those things happens here and the program works fine, which is, which is okay. So we are done with the story. I, I will remove this part now. Let me show you something. Let me let me drop this part. Okay. Uh, let me drop this part too. This one too, because we don't need it. Because you need to understand the way how things works here in less uh, example than is there. GTK widget let's create a button just a button not something special button okay uh, button uh, let's say um, gtk button new with mnemonic let's call it uh, let's call it uh, quit whatever you want to okay we are gonna add our button to our window okay now here we are gonna say click it and we're gonna pass here callback let's call the user call back okay good now let's create this function uh, void user callback and we need the gtk widget uh, our widget and g pointer data okay now after we were we, we created this one let's say uh, G print the button was pressed. I ah, know something like this is not important now because I want to show you something which is very important. Uh, let's see. Yes, okay. S label under uh, wait, 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 wait. Our uh, button and of course, null. So, uh, we we created a window, we created a button uh, with mnemonic and uh, with the text quit and then we added this button to this window. After this uh, we were calling to uh, two times the gsignal connect, once first one is on our window to destroy it and the second one is our button uh, in, with the uh, click it uh, signal uh, which calls our user callback function which is uh, up here and then when I try to run it let me show you something it says uh, unused parameter widget and data this is the power I want to talk with you uh, you can just cast it like I already uh, learned to or showed you like you silence you cast it to void it means you silent silence it this is our widget and the next one is uh, our data data and now when I run the program when I com compile it and run it you will see that the program works fine because it should work just ignore this part uh, just see the button here it works fine okay um, the, the funny thing here is that maybe you are asking yourself why do I need this here just to just to silence the compiler I mean wh why should I not just try to write here void and then I don't need this uh, we already talked about it you need you need to create your function calls in the way 
how your signal are respecting them. Okay, so my signals expects that I have these two parameters, but why and how in the earth those people they was thinking about this? I mean, I feel somehow that is wrong. Maybe you will say or something. For this, there is another function which is call a GTK connect swap. But before we we proceed here, we need to make the things clear. Uh, you you know already that the G signal connects has four parameters. And the first parameter corresponds to your first parameter on your uh, user callback function. The second one, the clicked uh, parameter uh, argument here, is a signal for your button in this case. And if it's a event signal, has also a scroll event two, and uh, of course um, the the other important part here is that uh, is that the uh, last parameter from the four the last one corresponds to the last parameter here to G point data so we know we have a null but here the, the has to be we cannot use it so this is something confusing anyway up here maybe you already know this I was using two and not three the data is missing why I will show you now. I will just change this function. Uh, G signal connect with G signal connect swap, and this this time, because I did, uh, let's say uh, this, I will pass my window this time as parameter window. And now, now what happens here? Uh, I can drop this parameter because this function needs only one parameter for your void functions and not two and this function uh, needs two parameter for your g boolean evel scrollback uh, callback and not two this means if you are going to you to use only one parameter i mean i repeat only one and there is no data to work with then you should work with G signal connect swap and not with G signal connect. Now, uh, I ca by calling this function, I'm swapping these two, these two uh, parameters. This means after the click and signal is applied to this uh, widget, uh, at that point, uh, what really happens here is that your is that your uh, window will be swapped with your with your button and uh, at this point uh, up here will be will not be passed the button widget like you already know this means the this uh, parameter here doesn't correspond with this one uh, uh, this parameter this time uh, corresponds to this one so this means uh, we can drop this part we can drop this part too and we can we can uh, use now our widget for example gtk uh, window set title title uh, we need a cast of our gtk window i want to show you okay go back go back go back go back go back to widget and then uh, we're gonna give a title and the title will be the same one as here and now I will run the program watch and and at this point when I will click the quit button the title will be changed you see this the button was pressed okay so this is the important part where, where you need to understand that if you don't want to see those nasty uh, silence uh, uh, casts of parameters which you have to use them uh, then means that uh, you are using the wrong function because only and I repeat only uh, to work with one widget you don't need to to uh, how, how can I say uh, to call G signal connect 
just call GC Connect Swap because it's all, uh, it's the same as uh, the first one. The only difference is that those two uh, parameters are swapping. So this means after the click it or which whatever signal happens here it is applied or is catched to your uh, your um, uh, widget then uh, when the your g callback function is called it uh, the window parameter here is passed as your first parameter which should be only one this time here so there is no data and so on same things happens up here uh, with our g boolean scroll callback we had the g pointer data here before by calling it with g signal connect and at this point uh, we we had to cast uh, widget i think we had the widget uh, before yeah we had widget uh, before we cast it and we were passing our window here in the first in the last uh, video and uh, uh, we were uh, playing with gpoint uh, data and uh, which was our window at that point but this time we 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 changed we changed this uh, uh, this part because we drop it we don't need it we we'll, we all need two of them and not three and by calling uh, uh, gtk connect swap we were uh, swapping uh, our event box with our label in our example so when we ca we were calling this function here as you can see we have two uh, parameters there is no g pointer uh, third parameter anymore you see there is no cast here anymore and uh, with the help of uh, this function uh, uh, g signal connects web uh, we we could write a nice and clear function without needing all all those cats maybe you are asking yourself why do i need these cats i mean in my programs they are not um, required well if you are working with gcc i'm sure you get those unused parameters which is not uh for you so uh it's, it's not uh, the way you need it because um, uh, gcc i think is a powerful compiler and uh, me for example let me show you something i am using uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, flags turn it on so i'm working with c18 i have here pendantic and then i'm checked for errors of those uh, pedantic and then i i have v all v extra v error and then v strict prototypes and uh, uh, you know what i i will gonna put all this in my video and uh, you can check them on the gcc uh, gcc uh, documentation about uh, what everything uh, it's meaning here but i strongly suggest you at least this type of flags you should have turned on on your gcc compiler if you are working with it to be sure that you are not uh, messing a lot of things on and so on and uh, only when you have a release uh, program or application then you ch you can drop them to to only print uh, some possible warnings okay guys i think uh, we covered everything uh, okay last thing i, I will uh, say it again uh, always if it's possible don't do not access uh, let's say indirectly uh, your events if there is a member a structure member in your inside your uh, gtk event like maybe you saw here uh, at first we had something like this yes and then uh, we had the uh, scroll scroll direction but this is an ugly code anyway it's not that important but my in my opinion because uh, gtk takes care about these kind of problems then don't don't do it don't don't use it like this because uh, uh, it makes things a little bit complicated just take the uh, benefit of uh, working with a member directly of the gtk event um, uh, structure and uh, use 
its child or its member uh, directly this one gtk event scroll so that you can drop this part here to have access directly to your direction which is uh, inside of uh, gtk event scroll that's it i think uh, we covered everything we need to know and uh, we covered everything uh, which uh, you, you need to learn about um, events and the uh, way how you use them signals and so on and uh, now you that you learn about the difference between those two just remember don't use this function uh, if you need only one parameter as, as void don't use this function if you need only two parameter as gboolean where are three uh, uh, expected for this is this function for you which is already here this is a function which uh, uh, behaves the, the same way like uh, this one but uh, the main difference is that you can swap these two parameters so that you can uh, use uh, the second parameter which could be I don't know maybe uh, maybe let's see maybe you can you want to you want to pass something different and now I'm not sure Let, let's see something G pointer G pointer data let me drop this let's let's use uh, let's use uh, G pointer a message the button was pressed this one okay and then here we're going we're going to char cast it to char and data run it and conflict types of course there are conflict types to our callback function which should not be there I will compile it and I will run it and as you can see here works fine so what I'm trying to explain now to you is that um, the only thing which can happen that you how can I say it uh, you see I, I was passing here a parameter to this button I swapped it hit and then uh, I dropped the button and I was just passing this parameter I, I, I only used this time this parameter only for a function like this I don't know where, where and how in the world you need something like this but if it happens that you need it then this is the way how you use it and of course the worst case is this one which I still don't understand where you need it. I see a lot of people, me, I, I gave you also an example, or there was an example where I see people working in, in their codes with something like this, GTK um, main quit. And of course, if you, are, if you want to, to quit your program like this, then yes, you see, you have a problem. It is, it is impossible it is impossible to, to have uh, no avoid uh, function uh, which returns void and uh, takes uh, void uh, as parameter too it's impossible but I don't know for something like this please don't do it if you really want to then put it here call your program and uh, data yeah, of course because we don't need it. If you really want to do something like this, just put it here and use your uh, uh, use it uh, here, and then you have no problem with your compiler, and that's it. Okay. I hope now you understand everything you you need to understand, and uh, you I, I showed you a way of how you can um, how you can work with this. Uh, two functions uh, gcna and gcna connect uh, i showed you uh, now a way about how you can work with only one parameter if it's there and you really need it this is a good example because uh, there will be a lot of time when you want to print something and uh, you are not sure uh, what you want to print here so you will go and make a user display callback or something like this uh, a display callback function where it should only print something for you so for this you need only uh, this parameter you, you 
you uh, you put your strings here inside uh, of the last parameter of your G signal connect swap and then after user uh, is using this um, is calling this function based on your signal it will pre print it a message and you are free from all those um, uh, casts and uh, uh, let's say uh, unused parameters which could be there but you don't need them Re just remember any parameter here has to be used so if you have it use it if you don't need it cast it but before you cast a parameter which you don't need it to void I mean uh, before you silence it just remember there is uh, always the second option which I'm strongly suggest you to use it before of this one and only when you not you cannot use this function then you'll know that you need this function but all most of cases you need this function and not this function and that's it thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe and share it and until next time see you guys